Hello there. Good day. My, my name is Prophet Clement. And today I am here in Jerusalem at the, at, at the Welling Wall. One thing that I want you to know is that um, I always do as I promised. And today, as I've been writing to many of your partners, friends, and family, and even some of you right now, as I was coming to the Holy Land for this tour, I ask you to send me a prayer request with you. And today I choose to be able to bring your prayer request to the Wailing Wall. And when I came here, I'm a Christian, a born-again Christian, a prophet of God and a spiritual man. I have seen so many miracles, especially during this time in Holy Land. And I asked God to give me a sign. And I asked God, God, if this you are a part of what is going around here, I want to see a sign. You're not a respect of person, but you are a respecter of faith. And you know one thing I ask God if you are here, let your breath, let your wind right now blow off the cup that is from my head so I may know that you are here. And what we are doing here, Lord, is not human, but is your presence. And child of God, as you can see it happen. Then, you see, this willing wall is the closest you can get to where the temple used to be the holy of holy and the presence of god has always been here so i ask god god i want when i open up this file so i told the cameraman to look at me because i want to wit you to witness it as i open this file god let the sunlight come as i begin to open up look at this the sunlight is coming the sunlight is shining on those prayer requests. This is a sign that God has heard our prayers. You see, King Ezekiel asked for a sign. How he's going to be healed? Let the shadow go backward in the temple. And it did. You know, God is not a respect of person, but he's a respect of faith. Now you ask me, Bishop Clement, how special are you? I am special to God. And I believe God has anointed me as a, as, a, as a prophet over the nation. And I believe with all my heart that God created me for a special purpose. As you can see, the sun is, is, is shining. This is winter time. This is actually February. And normally, you know, all day long, there have not been any sunlight. But as soon as I ask God for that sign, he confirmed it. And you know one thing, Child of God? As you can be able to look while we are there, I ask God again. I say, God, thank you for honoring this prayer. And I'm so humbled. But Lord, I'm going to ask you one more time. I know Gideon asked you and you heard it. Lord, if it is with you, if it is you that you are here in, this temp in, 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 a, in the Temple Mount, I ask you once again, Cause my heart to fall down. Suddenly it begins to slide from my head. As you can see, I'm trying to hold it against my collar. But you know one thing? Watch what's going to happen just in a minute. Then suddenly, I can feel it. The heart is already off my head. Something blew it off my head. But if you don't believe it, I said, God, thank you. But God, I'm going to ask you one more time. Don't be angry with me, God. For you are good and you are faithful and your mercy endures forever. And I say, God, this time, I want you to blow it away that far that I cannot just reach it. I want you to watch now what is about to happen. This is my arm bearer, Pastor Brand. The anointing is getting on him. The rabbi has sensed the power of God is in this place. And it's left. The anointing is there. Watch this as it's shaking. Look. Now, what I need you to look, follow my shadow. You're going to see from my shadow what is about to happen. Look, did you see that? Did you see? Did you see that? Even his heart that was on him has been blown away. Child of God, this I've never been seen before. This is the power of God. So I'm telling my other camera person, please run and pick up because we are not supposed to have, we're supposed to cover our heads while we are there. 
this was just a sign to let you know that God is with me, God has called me, and God has called me to pray for you and to let you know that your prayers have been heard. And I want to thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for allowing me to come to Holy Land. And thank you for all partners and friends and family and wonderful church members. I want you to know that I've brought your prayer requests and I've put them in the wailing wall. But that's not enough. I want you to see when God provided a big pocket for me to be able to put in everything there. You'll see some of the pictures of your loved one. You will see some of the prayer requests. Thank you once again for trusting me. Thank you once again for allowing me to be a prophet of God. Over your life. One thing that I know that your life will never be the same again is a confirmation that God is here. I will love you to join me in the next trip. And if you are there right now, you have not sent a prayer request. I'm so leaving tomorrow. Everybody else that's watching this, the request are here. Because Aaron's picture is staying on the wall today. God is here. I'll love you to join me in the next trip. And if you're there right now, you've not sent your prayer request, I'm leaving tomorrow. I want to put your prayer request in this land. God will hear your prayer. May the Lord hear you and prosper you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Something powerful in my life Something new in my life Oh Lord Do something new in my life Let your presence cover this people now forever Amen and Amen The prayer requests are all here Do you have a jump? All the prayer requests are here this one. May the Lord remember you. And may the Lord deliver you and set you free. Oh Lord, this is the day that you have made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you. I thank you in advance for doing that something, something wonderful. Thank you today for that favor. Thank you today for that breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for this week. Thank you for the victory. Thank you, Lord, for doing something powerful, something amazing.